Oh my gosh. Look at that adorable piece of fruit that our alpha has in her mouth. <gasps> that is so cute. I didn't know that they'll carry fruit around. Look how adorable it is. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Om Nom Omnivore, the Spore Edition. And we are here working on trying to expand our quinoa society, our tiny little hummingbird bumblebee society that we have been working on. And we're not doing a great job of being omnivores. We can indeed eat meat, but as our alpha is displaying, we actually prefer eating a delicious, delicious fruit, but uh, we are going to be very good at being aggressive, and that's actually more important if we want to continue the path from having a messed up at cell stage being an herbivore by moving down from social into adaptable. So we're, we may be fruit eaters. We may have failed stage one out of five of being an omnivore, but stage two, we will probably be able to become adaptable because our little quinoa society is becoming very aggressive like the territorial bumblebee. We are taking over the nest of those creatures who dare to build their nest near ours. So let's go ahead and find somebody to go pick a fight with. Also, look at, look at her. Look at her. Guys, this is so cute. Our alpha is literally just dancing in place, holding on to a piece of fruit. Why is this the most adorable thing I have seen in ages? Also, may I just say, this is one of the most beautiful planets I have ever seen. Not only does it have all of these open grassy fields and beautiful flowers and amazing trees, but there is a distinctive lack of eyeball bushes. And that makes me very happy if you have seen our previous spore adventures as the peaceful Finna and the aggressive Leoplay, then you know how much I hate the eyeball bushes. They're just so creepy. Also, I think this is a volcano, so we're gonna actually like fly our way up there with our amazing wings. Look at how good we are at flying around the place. Flap, 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 flap. All right, we can get up there. And I actually think this is a volcano, and I don't think I've ever had a volcano on my home planet before. So, like, the, the quinoa are just turning into the most amazing species, and I love it, and I love being in... Oh my gosh! Creature stage! Holy moly, look at us! We're flying! We're flying! Oh my gosh, we can ride this volcano? We can fly over the volcano? This is so cool! This is so cool! Look at us! It's like a purple volcano, too! The magma is like purplish! <gasps> I'm 100% in love with this planet! I don't think I've ever had such a beautiful planet to be part of! Or ever had such a little cool species where they're like bumblebee, hummingbird, territorial things, and they can glide! <gasps> Look at the lift that gives us! And there's our home nest right over there! Whoa, and I literally landed right into the center of this nest. Well, that was interesting. All right, now is not the time to pick a fight, <laughs> but that was so cool. I definitely want to do that again in the future. Also, can I eat this egg? I wonder if I can eat this egg. Can I eat the egg? Darn, I don't think I can eat that egg. That would have been really cool. We'll probably end up destroying that mushroom species in just a second, but among the many other amazing discoveries I've made, I have to admit, like, that volcano, we need a cool name for that volcano. <gasps> we need a cool name for that volcano! Oh my gosh! I want to get a cool name for that volcano. That would just be so much fun. All right, we'll have to think about that. But among the other discoveries I have made around our home nest is also the fact that we cannot lose our battles. We must not die in battle ever again. And you may think, oh, I see. Siri, you are becoming quite noble. You want to lead your tribe to victory. Well, we're not really a tribe yet. You want to lead your pack to victory and never die. And the answer to that is because uh, we've actually crashed the game three times with the cutscene after we die. So we can no longer die. If we die in battle, the game will crash and you will never see our adventures. So I've learned the hard way um, that death is no longer an option. So we're going to have to somehow find a way to admire that freaking floating egg what the heck did you see that their egg was just floating in the sky is there like a ufo somewhere nearby just beaming down babies genetically tweaked babies is that how we're doing this my goodness all right but yes i have learned that dying is just not an option but we do still need to take over some tribes and push them into extinction, especially any of them who might happen to be near our precious fruit fields. That's why we're so territorial. Uh, but I can no longer die. If I die, 
there's bad news bears and everything crashes. So we're, wow. Is this not just the most beautiful planet ever? Like, I could wander creature, no joke, I could wander creature stage like this forever. I'm, I'm tempted to back up the save file so that anytime we want to just like sit in these fields and spore, we can come back and we can relive the ancient stages. And I know a lot of you guys, your favorite uh, stage is actually creature stage. So we'll think about that. But yeah, we do still need to, I probably need to destroy at least three more species nearby. Uh, and I would like to actually fight the Leopli. We have learned that the Leopli themselves are nearby. Uh, maybe I need to take these guys out. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just that you happen to be too close to my fruit field. And I, I cannot die. But I have to destroy... I have to destroy some of you guys so I can start getting uh, start getting more DNA points and also become adaptable. All right, so we took out one of these guys. I guess that means we'll go for the species next. We need to see one. They're really cool. They kind of remind me of the egg-stealing dinosaurs. All right, let's see. Can I isolate one of the alphas? There's two alphas over there. Can I isolate one of these guys? There's so many! All right, let's go for this one. Oh, why do you have to have backup? Okay, we have to run, as awful as it sounds, if things get too toasty, we have to abandon the others and leave, or else everything's gonna get a little bit odd. Okay, there's that one. Okay, attack this one. I wish we could just straight up, oh yes, we have something to help us with jumping. Whoa, 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 I'm pretty sure I saw you once upon a time in another section, but you're really weird looking and you're an alpha, so you have the precious genetic material that I want. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one out. <gasps> Look, it had the really cool peacock feathers. Yes, we can add it. Wow, we jumped so high. We can add more feathers. All right, and now we need to find a couple more of these guys. It looks like they're trying to migrate to get away from us. Sorry, sorry, that's not an option either. All right, there's one of the alphas. Let's go get them. Sorry, it's not personal, but it is because you're like near my nest. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh wait, I'm not dying, that's my hunger. I'm just hungry, I'm not dying. Okay, quick. Did we attack that? There we go, that alpha is now done for. Let's go get some food. We're going to avoid these little ones for now. Maybe I can take over. Uh-oh, my pack is being, my pack! What has happened? This way, this way, my brethren. Let's eat the, upon the fruit trees that we, we stole from this tribe. Nope, or we're just gonna eat them. What the heck? <gasps> no! It's a meteor shower! Did we just get stunned by a meteor? I think we just got literally hit by a meteor. I just got hit by a meteor. We found a volcano and there's a meteor shower all in the same day. Is this, is this a warning from above for having attacked that species? That's kind of amazing. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna get him, even though he's got those long, fast legs. Gotta get him, look at him run for it. <gasps> oh my goodness, can we fly at him to like make up the difference? All right, can I get him? He's really running for it. Can I get him? Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had to go on such a chase to chase these guys down before. Get him. All right, there's that one. All right, there, he's turning around to fight. Do battle, do battle. I've never chased something so far away before. All right, yes, all right, and we got the whole species. So he was trying to save himself. Sorry, buddy. And see, we are omnivores. If we choose to, we can eat the fallen, but really what we're doing is we're trying to chase them away so that we can preserve all of the uh, the little fruit trees that they may have, they may have been near. Uh, here's another little fruit tree. All right, so that's good at least. Are we getting a little closer? We're getting a little closer to adaptability. We just have to continue the attacking. I wonder if, um, let me see. I think killing some creatures helps quite a bit with dropping on your level of if you're going to be social or adaptable, but I think making another group extinct also can help you out a lot. So we'll have to see. I didn't expect to travel that far though, and I didn't expect a meteor shower. That was kind of exciting. All right, let's do this. We're gonna fly across. I might wanna take out some of those guys. Is my pack strong enough? Possibly. All right, that's, uh, any alphas nearby? They don't seem to have any alphas. So we may just take out an isolated one. Uh, like maybe the one that's over here. 
That's what they get for their alphas wandering far from home. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go for you. All right, you're close to my field. That's a no-go. Aggressive hummingbees attack. All right, almost. Oh, look at that. We've got a little bit more points. All right, there's another one. They don't seem to have a lot of great defense. And we, I think, did we get some new wings recently? I don't know if we got some new wings recently, but we might go have a baby soon and increase our wing ability. All right, and we cannot die. We really cannot die. It's literally not an option to die. Uh-oh. All right, get out of here, get out of here. All right, we're so close to destroying them. But if I die, no joke, we will actually uh, have the game crash. So uh, it's not an option to die. Oh, but here's some bones. This seems ominous, a whole bunch of eggs that are just getting ready to hatch. I'll take their bones though. Got a little spray bucket. Where's home? I'm so, I'm so turned around after, oh, over here, over here. We can heal up at that nest. Wow! Is that our sun or another planet? It has a ring around it. I cannot wait to be able to get into space around here. It's just so pretty. This planet is just so ridiculously gorgeous. All right, there we go. We lost one of our pack mates, so I need to go and get another pack mate, but we're healing up at least. Nice. Oh, is that one of the alphas? Oh, look, it's one of them. He's really weakened. I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. Let's go get him. We can take these guys out. Defend our little our little spots even sooner. All right, there we go. And there's that one. Now we just have to chase down this last one who's already wounded. Sorry, little guy. All right, go, 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 go. I love being a hummingbee. This is so cool. Go, my little quinoa. Come on, come on. Man, they really run for it. I'm sorry, I know you don't want to go extinct, but that's just not, that's just not how it's gonna work. I kind of need charge in order to, in order to catch up with them. I've never had to run, I've never ever had to run them down so far. Ugh. Can I get them yet? No, I think I need better speed. This is kind of ridiculous. <gasps> Come on. Come on. All right, it made it back to the nest. And we just eliminated this species too. All right, there we go. Well, we're pretty proud about that. Did these guys just hatch? I think these guys just hatched. I don't really know what they are, but they have a lot of health. So I don't think I want to mess with them just yet. This has been a pretty darn amazing day. We've barely gotten started. I can't believe this. <laughs> Flying with volcanoes and then bumping into um, a meteor shower or a meteor shower bumping into us. And oh, where's everybody at my nest? <gasps> Where's all my family? Has something nefarious happened? Oh, well, here's somebody like willing to have a baby with us, but all right. Let's go ahead and try having another child. And we'll see if there's any really nifty and useful parts that we can add into our genetic lineage. I really love how our species is turning out though. We might even try to add in some little graspers because a lot of you guys have been suggesting that. But this is so fun just to see where the pressures of evolution within Spore are going to push us to change things. Like the fact we probably need a lot more speed. Uh, look at us! <gasps> We're so cool! And we can probably get a better little, uh, little stabby now. In fact, we should change this old horn right here to maybe to maybe like the narwhal horn? Can we do that? There we go. Oh, and maybe we could pretend it's like a little a little drill for being able to drill into some of the trees. So there we go. To be able to get the, the nectar and the sap within trees even better. So now we have a better little stabber to play up the bumblebee half of our, our lives. And uh, we already have really good feet. I think one of the things we were thinking about was maybe a better, a better mouthpiece, but that's really expensive. We need to be able to get a lot more DNA points if we're gonna do that. So let's see, that would improve our singing and our health a little bit, but it's not really gonna improve our attack. And I feel like we need to increase our attack somewhat. And look, there's the peacock, the ability to have lots more feathers and possible better looking wings. We also have better jump and sprint. Um, if I can put this on, maybe instead of this, this gives us sprint and charm. Hmm, 
Hmm, so many choices, so many choices available. We could also add in some sneak, which might be useful. And maybe some health, like we're kind of weirdly low on health. We can have whiskers. What are things that could add some health to us? Uh, there's like the knee pads and the shell shards. We should find some more of those kinds of things so we can try to add better health to our creature for sure. And let's see what's over here. We also have Sprint. We have the Whisker Tickler. Uh, we have the Horror Lump. Not really things I think fit us very well. Um, still have the best available feet for what we're up to. Let's double check that. Yep, yep, yep. And then, I don't know if we need a Grasper just yet. It can help with Pose or Strike, depending on what we want to use. I almost feel like the Bone Stickler might be a good thing to have because it reminds me of bird feet. Doesn't it remind you of little bird talons? So that might suit us very well. So we'll have to think about it. Mitten Fist, uh, let's see, or maybe like this little one. So I don't think we want to add any of those. We don't really have any legs that make me super excited. Hmm, hmm, I don't think the eyes will do anything different. And I'm pretty happy with the hubba hubba eyes actually, as silly as that sounds. So how could we attack a little better? Improve that charge, maybe have the ability to spit? Hmm, I wonder if that would help. I mean, it would let us attack from far away a lot easier. And there's this one or the toxic talon. So we have strike level two right now. But we could improve. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know about this. This may be a little bit much. I don't know if we'd still be as cute. Maybe if I shrink it down as much as possible. Oh, but she looks so proud of her new her new ability. Um, but I don't know. I kind of want to try spit. Let's try it with spit, and then we can try with the little reaper thing later. All right, in fact, I should probably just go dun 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 dun. There we go. And then maybe we can add the spit ability somewhere below the chin, really tiny. I wonder if I could make it just look like, or maybe even up behind the, the head so it looks kind of more, yeah, look, that looks more decorative. You wouldn't think that it actually is like a little toxic spitter thing. So let's try this out. How does it look? Interesting. Interesting indeed. So maybe we want to actually try this uh, try this out in the field now. Okay, so let's try it. Well, we're gonna see if adding spit's cool or not. We may have to be a little bit more direct than attacking from afar. It looks kind of cool on top of our head that way too, right behind our feathers. Nice, Kima, I like where you're going. What? Oh my gosh, maybe that is gonna be more useful than I thought. Cool, what a day. We've had a very, very busy time as our little species. Being able to snag all of these new parts, being able to, okay, let's let's invite one of our, our members because we lost one of our little pack members last time. Nice, all right, yeah, we've been busy. We've been really busy and now we have a better little uh, stabber and we have a little spitter. Let's try it out on one of the alphas over here. I wanna try to get one of them, uh, one of them isolated for sure. So darn it, why do all the alphas have to travel so close together? All right, let's try this and then let's go with the one that's isolated. Can I, <gasps> you can attack them from over here? That is so ridiculous, no, they can spit back. They can spit back! This wasn't part of the plan! This species is too dangerous! Oh no, we're gonna crash! I've gotta get out of here! Get it! Okay, we're gonna get one of them! Okay, and then I've gotta get out of here. Because otherwise... <laughs> otherwise, I cannot lose because the cutscenes will literally crash us. Alright, so we've, we've gotta keep moving. Or drag the battle to our nest where we can heal while we attack. All right, can I attack him from here? That's so cool. This is actually the most awesome thing I think I've done in a long time. <gasps> we just killed him from over here. <gasps> a whole new world has been opened to us. Never before have I flown so much and never before have I spit so much. And apparently the um, 
the, the results are, are a lot cooler than I thought they would be. So I'm pretty darn happy. All right, volcanoes, meteors, learning how to spit, feasting off of the body of the fallen mushroom. I guess technically, is that does that count as being an omnivore or an herbivore? Hmm. That's a pretty good question if you ask me. And uh, next time, we're going to continue to take over the spitting mushrooms and maybe gain some better spitting skills. And expanding our tiny little hummingbee, bumblebee, quinoa society in the future. So, I will see you guys then. Bye bye